This plant seed oil, Andorba oil, it's a little known oil, but however though, when you look at the impact as far as help mitigate the potential for scarring in regard to cuts and ulceration, or even wound healing, it is probably has to be one of the most fascinating plant oils I have seen to date. Now the scope of this particular research is regard to a reference to oral mucositis. So looking at basically chemo treatments that result in ulcerations that need healing. And basically, as you could look right here, you could see if you read ahead that Andorobo oil was quite spectacular. Even beating the gold standard low level laser therapy, which is kind of interesting on its own, but we're gonna delve into that more in a second. Now, oral mucositis, again, we covered it a few weeks ago and we recovered it in reference to uh, certain substances mitigating the effects of radiation exposure. But now we have an extra tool in that chest. Now, Andorobo oil is far faceted, meaning it goes beyond the, just the outcome of this one particular study. So it is quite amazing. So stick with me. It is quite, quite fascinating, even although a little technical. So here we go. The chromatophic, chroma, chromatographic constitution of Andorob oil and its healing effects. Now we're going to read that one byline there. The Andorob extract in wounds provides acceleration and healing process with the increase of contraction rate and local reepithelialization, resulting in the complete closure of wounds. Again, on par with the gold standard, the LLT, low level laser therapy. To proceed, the low level laser therapy is the best standard treatment and most efficient method in treating OM, oral mucositis. Similarly, the Andorobo oil presents a great potential for the treatment of inflammatory diseases. Thus, this study aims to evaluate the healing and toxico tox toxicological effects of Andorobo oil compared to the laser therapy outcomes. Observing if Andorobo presents a similar high potential than the laser therapy itself, the gold standard, which as we delve into it is fairly expensive and not everyone could afford this particular treatment. And this is what the research we're trying to do. Bring something to light that could be on par with laser therapy but not be as expensive for the general populace. To proceed, the laser protocol was performed once a day in the Andorobo oil applied three times a day, one and a half milliliters a day. Now keep in mind, this is divided into three sections, half a milliliter at a time. Mucose, mucosa, mucosae were photographed and removed for clinical and histopathic pathological analysis on day four, A, 12, and 15. Now, I need to give you a little bit of trigger warning. We are going to look at the picture of those particular uh, slides. I blacked out the most graphic parts, but still just the same. Before we get to it, some people get grossed out. I'm going to show you those slides in regard to healing the scarring. The analysis was based on oral mucositis severity and specific scoring for the clinical and histopathological aspect. The androbe oil presented the best scarring results as a mitigation prevention. In this case, when we look at the slides, what scar? To proceed, now keep in mind, this was an animal study, but to proceed just the same. Even considering its efficiency proximity to laser treatment. Here we go. I'm gonna show you the slide. Here we are. I blacked out the most, um, I would say grotesque aspect for the general populace, but the bottom two. Now, if you're looking at the left corner, day 15, you have to keep in mind that was an open wound. If you look at the comparison to laser, the combination of laser and endorobe oil, which ironically, even though laser and endorobe oil did better than the control, it did not do better than either one on an individual basis. So they kind of conflicted. And obviously if nothing is done as, little, as you see, day 15 in the control, healing was quite eh. But again, I know it's a little uh, grotesque for some, but if you look at the oral mucosa, mucose, however you want to pronounce it, on day 15 in the bottom left corner, you could barely even know, unless you knew about the study, that there was even an injury there. This is what makes Andorub oil really quite spectacular. When I delve into how it works, but at the same time, I want to look at how the laser light works as well. So you can get an idea how to compare. 
The low frequency laser therapy is considered a gold standard. And this is why it's so incredible because it beat the gold standard somewhat. So here we go. In oral mucositis, due to its efficiency in the process of healing acceleration, promoting inflammation and pain decrease, which is kind of interesting because promoting inflammation to heal a wound, kind of reminiscent of prolotherapy, ancient Egyptians, 3000 plus years ago, Hippocrates, you know, um, what about 2,600 years ago? No, that's to be 2020, you know, maybe 2,400 years ago or so, but that's exactly what it is. Prolotherapy utilizing inflammation to heal wounds, nothing new, just everything old becomes new again to proceed. The laser luminous energy is converted into useful energy for the cell and is absorbed by the chromophores inside the mitochondria. Big into light medicine. Essential in the cellular respiratory chain. This process results in the increase of adenosine triphosphate production, ATP. The source is cellular energy, aiding in the proliferation and production of proteins, intensifying cellular mitosis, therefore promoting tissue repair and metabolism acceleration, promoting an anti-inflammatory effect and similar to the production of collagen and antiogenesis. However, due to its high cost, oral mucositis treatment is restricted to a limited number of patients thus is a constant search in the scientific community to enable and ease an accessible treatment for all. Enter endorobe oil to proceed to the next section. So it's, you find it quite intriguing that it could do this. Now, how does endorobe oil do what it does? Does it work the same way as the laser therapy, even though quite intriguing, Arr. but still just the same? It's just incredible. And again, wait till you hear what else it does on top of that. Endorobe oil, is believed that the positive result in the healing process associated to these fatty acids occurs to increase production of nitric oxide, nitric oxide, which results in the overexpression of free radicals, helping inflammatory response in addition to activating macrophages, macrophages, fibroblasts, disseminated collagen and keratinocyte production, as well as angiogenesis, providing the acceleration of local reepithelialization, reepithelialization. When you don't know how to pronounce it properly, you say it fast. Re-epithelialization. Now I'm messing up. Epithelialization process. Another fatty acid of great importance is arachidonic acid, which copes with the inflammatory cells migration, stimulates elastase, angiogenesis, and consequent wound healing. To speak English, here we go. What does that mean? Studies have shown that the essential fatty acids are the catalyzing agents in the healing process stimulating cell proliferation, collagen production, antimicrobial, anti-inflammatory, and antioxidant action. The androbe oils shows many therapeutic finalities. Weird way of putting it, but still just the same. Due to its natural repellent, yeah, androbe oil is used as a bug repellent in many parts of the world on top of that. Uh, dermatological properties, as well as its excellent anti-inflammatory, antibacterial performance, wound healing activity, anti-parasitic, to think about it for people with ringworms and things like that, I don't know if that's published or biased, but be curious. Insecticide, anti-allergic effect, and anti and antinosusceptive, antinosusceptive, which means basically pain reduction in the end. Responses. Conclusion, the androbe oil presented slightly better results than the laser. See, it just basically edged out when we look basically at those kind of grotesque pictures that we did a few seconds ago. It, the, the area where the androbe oil was applied three times per day at a half a milliliter a day just was beautiful comparatively if you're into that type of thing to proceed uh but slightly better results in the laser demonstrating its powerful anti-inflammatory and scarring action as in prevention affordable and more effective and available to general populace discuss with your healthcare professional again or practitioner just the same the best form. Now, this is kind of interesting because they're really particular in the form of androbe oil I utilized. Again, because it's like seeding, if you're into data analytics, it's like seeding random numbers. You need to be able to replicate the study. So this is what they utilized. The tree evidences good pharmacological properties considering its variety of components such as flowers, leaves, and stem extracts. But the oil demonstrated better medicinal effects when obtained by seed pressing. Again, that is according to the researchers. But to go even further, if you look at the top paragraph there, I love the specificity, uh, specificity of basically where uh, they harvested the antelope oil. That is pretty cool. And to follow through, the methods. 
The androbe oil group and laser associated to androbe oil receive the treatment three times a day, three times a day, each oral mucosa and approximately half a milliliter per application for a total of one and a half milliliters a day. Keep in mind, this was an animal study. So how that translates to humans is to be determined, but still just the same, promising to proceed. The measurement and standardization required a plastic pastor pipette, half a milliliter, and the oil application was made using a plastic wrap cotton swab. These are all important things. Water and food were suspended for one hour for higher medication absorption. That part was real important to include on there as well. But again, what I'm gonna do, trigger warning, I'm gonna show you that one graphic one more time so you get a better appreciation basically to how uh, astounding uh, the effect was in this particular animal model. Let us begin, boom, boom. And you see, bottom left corner, day 15, and the rub oil. That is so promising for so many people being treated for certain ailments. Now again, the ulcerations were caused by traditional cancer treatment medications. Uh, again, a few weeks ago, when we did the uh, substances for radiation and mitigating radiation damage in people, uh, it was also covered oral mucositis, but still, it's a fascinating effect that this particular outcome does not have to be uh, in a lot of individuals. If anything, maybe mitigated to a lot less severe effect to where it's uh, not as traumatic. But again, incredible, incredible information. You gotta look at the, what the researchers did. They said, hey, this low level light ther laser therapy is great, gold standard, regenerates the ATP, creates inflammation, reduces the pain over time, but bah, so on and so forth. But not everyone could afford it. So what can we find that's out there? Does it require a complicated processing um, production process? that is available to everybody at a low cost for those that can afford it and reduce the likelihood of having to endure such a negative outcome in regard to certain treatments or anything in regard to potential scarring, wound healing, and so on and so forth. Again, this is an incredible, incredible oil, not well known, and rope oil, but I hope we bring attention to it and wow, all the people we can help. I even ordered some for myself, even though I won't say any company, just because, you know what? I have a lot of shaving accidents, so I wanna see how it goes. Again, gratitude to the researchers. They did all the work. They're the ones that did all the research, the detective work. I just basically bring it to you. And as always, I am humbled you watch and look forward to see you all once again next week. Catch you next time, bye.